Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to action at Draga MMA. Making his way to the cage, Matthew Messer. Fighter who comes to the cage in his gi. It's Matt Messer wearing his BJJ brown belt. Very proud of his uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game at Moreno BJJ in New Bern, North Carolina. You see uh, a black belt, BJJ black belt, CJ Murdoch uh, in uh, Messer's corner. Not a very well known BJJ gym, but very effective. Great fighters coming out of there. Uh, Jay, if, if you've ever seen a Matthew Messer fight, uh, you certainly don't need coffee to uh, get any kind of energy out of that. He comes forward, he presses forward. He's winless as a pro, but always brings the fight to his opponent. And we're going to see that again tonight here at Draka 15. Yeah, he's a fighter who, can, who will gain fans from a loss just because he does not have a reverse gear. Pressure, 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 and of course wants to put his DJ to work. Doesn't mind banging, though. We were talking to him before the, before the event. He does not mind standing there and banging, kind of enjoys. He does not, but as, as he grows in this sport and, and his competition gets greater and greater, uh, in talking to him last night, he said this may be one of his last two welterweight fights. He's pretty small for a welterweight, looking to see if he can, through nutrition, Dolce diet type stuff, make that cut to 155 and be successful as an MMA lightweight. He would be a big lightweight. And his opponent, Dusty Shaw. Dusty Shaw, a new court news for Vinny, 1-0 as a pro. Built a little bit more like you expect the welterweight to look. Undefeated as a pro, 1-0 record. Um, you know, Dusty is so very proud of the fact he was uh, able to just devote his entire life to mixed martial arts. He, he quit his job. All he does is train. All he does is train with Rick McCoy, MMA Institute, and um, you know, we're going to see a great fight here tonight. This is one of those fights, Jay, I don't know that we'll see it get out of the first round. One way or the other, these guys are going to bring the thunder. Talk a little bit about Shaw's style as a fighter. Uh, well, Shaw is a fighter predominantly stand-up so far in his career. Obviously, you can't train at MMA Institute without getting better in all aspects. So his game is only going to get better every time we see him from here on out. So we'll see tonight if he can keep that uh, undefeated streak going and move to 2-0 as he improves in the sport of MMA. Hugs coach Rick McCoy gets checked out before he enters the ring. Shaw draped by Terrell Hobbs, Luke Hunsaker, who we saw win earlier tonight on, on the, the amateur card. What a fight. Amateur portion of the card. Super excited young man with a great future in front of him. John Ward, the striking coach. Just, again, MMA Institute. Not only Richmond, but all Charlottesville, Harrisonburg, Winchester. All great fighters. All great camps. One thing to... Right up to Mike Markham. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds of unified rules, mixed martial arts. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at an even 171 pounds. He is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. His record 0-2, fighting out of New Bern, North Carolina. Matthew the Masher Messer. The opposition comes in the form of the man standing across the cage to my left and fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, his official weight and even 172 pounds. He is a mixed martial artist, his record one and no, oh, fighting out of Richmond, Virginia. Dusty the Disciple Shaw! Your referee, Mike King. 
Jay, one thing we're going to want to keep our eyes on tonight, Dusty Shaw did not make weight yesterday. We'll, we'll have to watch his gas tank, his cardio, to see if that had any effect on his performance tonight. As you mentioned, that pedigree, guys in that, in that circle of gyms do not run out of gas, barring an unforeseen circumstance. As Messer practically charges across the ring to engage. Holding true to form, Jay. And Shaw somehow already giving up his back to Messer. And Messer making it expensive. Not a place you want to be, Jay, against a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Dershaw's corner imploring the referee to look at those strikes to the back, look dangerously close to the spine. Show me something, man. <laughs> Shaw defending, but not really looking to improve his position. And the fight is definitely over. Shaw doesn't seem to like the division, the decision. But Messer gets the choke and gets the win as the fight is stopped by referee Mike King. Mike King, very experienced. He's a heck of a ref. Shaw never seemed to get himself going. Never seemed to be able to mount any sort of offense. Got Gave up his back early. And when there's a Bra Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt with the experience that Matthew Messer has, get your back. What you saw is usually the outcome. And that was a pretty good backflip out of the Master Messer. Here's Mike Markham. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at one minute, four seconds of the opening round. We have a tap out. Your winner by submission via rear naked choke, Matthew the Masher Messer. Here's my partner, Ryan McDonald, in the cage with your winner, Matt Messer. I'm here with your winner, Matthew the Masher Messer. So we saw you come out in your gi, proudly wearing the brown belt, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. You showed off those skills here tonight. How does it feel to get that first pro win here in Richmond, Virginia? Oh man, it's awesome, and uh, I know you hit me up just a few weeks ago, and I was actually supposed to fight like June 14th, and now it's postponed to like July 5th, so it was good to get in here earlier. And uh, yeah, man, I've been doing Jiu-Jitsu for a while, and I've had a lot of fights go decision. Nobody even really knows about my jiu-jitsu, but it's glad that I finally able to show it. And that first one's great, man. It feels real great. Well, they certainly know about your jiu-jitsu now. Who would you like to thank for this win tonight? I would like to thank, if she's watching live stream, my lovely woman and my family. So much sacrifice they put in me being gone. I work all day and train all night. Um, I'd like to thank my jiu-jitsu instructor, Jerry Marino, my boxing coach, Sean Cochran, all the people I train with, uh, people that always train with me. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. And uh, thanks, Dusty, for, man, he, I'm sure he trained hard for his fight and brought it. And I'd like to thank you all for bringing me out man, and having me. And uh, that's about it. Our pleasure, and we will definitely have you back. Matthew Messer, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan, that was not exactly the performance we expected out of Shaw. I don't know, I'd like to find out what happened. Maybe it was just Messer getting the back early and taking it hard. Certainly, we certainly don't want to take anything away from Matthew Messer again, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. Definitely has the skills to do what he just did, but uh, there definitely was something wrong with Dusty Shaw. 
I don't know if the weight cut went bad, what happened, but uh, that's not the Dusty Shaw we're accustomed to seeing. But congratulations to Matthew Messer. And I totally agree more. Matt Messer, once he got that back, holy smokes, he was just constricting like a python. And, you know, not a lot of guys were going to extricate themselves from that situation.